what's going on guys we got another truck that we selling um this is a solid truck and when i say solid the people that we bought it from um they did an end frame on this truck about a year and a half ago and we have all the paperwork like i was saying in the other video that i just did you guys got to be careful about buying these trucks and trailers from these small dealerships or even big dealerships like if you go to freightliner and you buy a truck for the most part, they're not going to show you the uh, history on those trucks, you know, um, because that's going to kind of pull people away and not want to buy them. But this is a 2012 Freightliner Cascadia 10 speed manual 60 series engine. And again, we did, um, you know, we, we got an end frame that was done about a year and a half ago, um, you know. If anybody's interested, we got the paperwork to prove it. Um, the only thing about this truck, you're probably going to need some tires within about two, three months. But other than that, it's a solid truck. probably gonna need some tires you know but um you know for a truck like this 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 bad boy is gonna go for another million miles because again we did the end frame about a year and a half ago This bad boy right here runs like a champ. Everything works. So come on down here, bring your mechanic. You know, um, and we've been doing this for 10 years, buying and selling trucks, side drivers, you know, even outsiders, you know. <clears throat> Only thing that's wrong is the ABS light, you know. That ain't nothing but a brake sensor, you know, something small. But that's the total miles right there. Uh, uh, again, I don't want to sound redundant, but you know, we did the, the end frame uh, about a year and a half ago. AC works, the heat work. You guys not going to need any heat because it's getting warm now. So, got the double bunk. So, if you want to bring your, your wife or your kids along and enjoy the, enjoy the road together, legacy seats very comfortable this is a solid truck right here so you know if anybody interested you know um, I'm gonna be putting this up on my YouTube channel and I want you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel up and at them you know so every time we put a you know um, a video up you guys can get that you know um, and this is what we do we you know constantly buying and selling and you know a lot of a lot of guys are you know kind of apprehensive about jumping in this industry obviously um you know the industry is slow um but around april like the second week of april the third week of april it starts to levitate starts to go back up so everybody right now you know just basically just sitting around and um you know trying to see what this thing is going to do and i can see a difference right now we know that the fuel prices has gone down tremendously uh in atlanta i'm in atlanta i'm in atlanta georgia so um the fuel out here i think it dropped down to 368 in some parts of atlanta so that's awesome um so you know don't be scared to leap you know um if you guys are in position to you know jump out there and buy a truck you know do it you know 
Don't listen to these war stories. You know, I don't listen to, you know, anybody to be honest, especially like, you know, owner operators. I listen to guys, I listen to carriers. I, I listen to guys that's been doing this for years. Um, a lot of owner operators have, they, you know, they have so many war stories and, you know, I just did a seminar and um, I just wasn't on the panel. I had to close it out. I'll be putting up that video soon. And I was explaining, you know, how guys get into this industry and they fail, you know, um, lack of capital, a lot of, you know, new owned operators, they don't want to listen, you know, they're listening to the wrong information, you know, um, what you need to do is build yourself, you know, um, up, you know, build, build some people around you, you know, that's been doing it for a long time, you know, um, and have them uh, mentor you, you know, and listen, you know, pay attention and do exactly what they did. You know, it's the reason why I'm still here. I've been running my own authority for 10 years now. Um, I drove for 22 years, so I have a lot of knowledge about this industry. Um, so don't listen to nobody, um, you know, and like I always say, you know, you're gonna fail in business, especially when you first jump out here. So when you, when you fall, you know, um, try to land on your back because if you can look up, then you can get up, you know, um, and try to get with a carry that's going to be truthful to you. You know, that's, that's going to tell the truth and that's not going to lie just to try to pull you in. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of small carriers and big carriers, they will lie. They're, they'll lie about Raycons. They'll lie about, you know, layover. They'll lie about detention. They lie, you know, just to try to pull you in their company. And then when you get there, you realize the grass is not, you know, green on that side. And then now you got to revert back to where you started, you know, at the bottom. So, um, you know, we're honest. I'm not going to lie to my people. Um, we're, we're not going to lie to anybody, you know. So, you know, that's the truth because I'm the truth.